This is Carl Farinelli, and we're continuing on this project that uh, Jessica Thompson, one of our graduate students, is doing for her uh, class requirements in the Fundamentals of School Administration class. So we're going to talk about step two, so this is the second video. You've already watched the, the first step from the Statement of Understanding, I hope, and uh, this will make sense if you've already watched that one. So let's look at step two. To find this, by the way, this is from the Statement of Understanding that's in the School Administration Handbook that can be found on Dr. Kenneth Hancock's faculty webpage. So go to the NSU homepage, look down for the faculty webpages, and uh, that's under Current Students, down to Academics, scroll down to Academics, and then choose Faculty Webpages, and then go to the H's and you'll find Dr. Kenneth Hancock. On the left-hand side, there will be a button for the uh, School Administration Handbook for the Master's Program. And then you'll scroll down, you'll look at the Table of Contents and find the Statement of Understanding. So you should have already signed the Statement of Understanding with your advisor, because you should have already met with your advisor before you enrolled in your first semester of classes. Well, step two tells you that during your first semester, it is recommended that all admission requirements be met prior to enrollment. And so here are the, the program requirements. You must score a 6 on the right placer or pass another assigned writing test at the discretion of the department chair. Now the right placer is a computerized writing test. And so if you've not ever taken a writing test on computer before, you may have to study up a bit on that. Go look on the internet or talk to your advisor about some of the special aspects of taking a writing test on computer. And, uh, you get two chances, I think uh, we'll talk about more about that in a minute. But you have to score at least a six on the right placer test. After the second failure, then you're going to have to seek help from the NSU Writing Lab before you can take it a third time, third and last time. Now, one of the other requirements that you must complete during your first semester of coursework is that you must take and have a satisfactory score on either the MAT or GRE. We want you to take one of these two tests so that you have the experience of taking a graduate admission uh, type of test, either the MAT or GRE. Now the cutoff score is only used if your undergraduate GPA was under 3.0 or if your undergraduate GPA in the last 60 hours of your coursework was under a 3.25. So if you had either a 3.0 overall undergraduate GPA or a 3.25 on your last 60 hours, then we won't look at the cutoff score on the MAT or GRE. You still have to take the MAT or GRE, so listen carefully. You still must take the MAT or GRE, but we will look at the cutoff score only if you need that loophole because your undergraduate GPA isn't adequate. Last, you're going to have to submit during your first semester of coursework your packet to the School Administration Program Admissions Committee. So make sure you put this to the attention of Dr. Kenneth Hancock, who is the chair of that committee. It's going to contain three sealed letters of recommendation and other included informational materials. Those other materials will include a statement of your specific immediate and long-term career objectives and how this master's degree will help you to achieve your objective. The statement is to be between one and two pages, typed, double-spaced, 12-point font with margins of one inch all around. You must include all college transcripts. Now, once again, let's go over the requirements. Your GPA requirement, undergraduate GPA, is 3.0 overall or 3.25 in the last 60 hours of your undergraduate degree. Now, if you already have earned a master's degree from a accredited university, then you can get into our certificate-only program. Now, if your GPA is not adequate, then your MAT score will be 383, or your GRE will have to be math and verbal of 900. You may use scores from your MAT or GRE as long as they are less than five years old. It's recommended that you pass either exam prior to enrollment. All materials that you send to Dr. Kenneth Hancock, the chair of the School Administration 
Admissions Committee are to be received by the dates that are listed on the Statement of Understanding. So be sure to double check that. That is step two of your advisement process. Thank you.